New Sugarcane Varieties Sugarcane is one of the most important commercial crops in India, accounting for the largest value of production. It is an economically and sociologically viable agricultural resource, cultivated in approximately 5.2 million hectare area and producing 375 million tons of sugarcane at an estimated 70 tons per hectare. The sugar industry is the second largest agro-based industry, next to textiles. The success of scientific sugarcane cultivation hinges on variety and on the selection of one that is appropriate for soil type, season and agroclimatic zones. The Sugarcane Breeding Institute, since its inception in 1912, has developed nearly 3,000 CO varieties which show promise in both India and abroad. The world's first commercial sugarcane hybrid was evolved by Sir T.S. Venkatraman and Dr. C.A. Barber by the successful crossbreeding of a noble cane variety, Vellai, with wild Saccharum spontaneum to obtain CO205. Scientifically improved strains are now available for growing sugarcane in almost all conditions across the country. The CO86032, also called Nayana, is a mid-late variety released in 2000 by the Central Varietal Release Committee of the Government of India for the Peninsular Zone. Obtained by crossbreeding, the female CO62198 variety with COC671 as male. CO86032 is the most popular sugarcane variety in tropical India, suited for cultivation in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. It grows well in all soil types, has multi-retuning potential and can be grown throughout the year. It also displays field tolerance to red rot disease, resistance to smut disease and abiotic stressors and tolerance to drought while retaining sucrose for up to 16 months of crop age. It grows well at a wide row spacing of 150 cm. Intercropping shows no reduction in cane yield of CO86032 while ratoons provide excellent results. Its superior performance has paved its entry into general cultivation, spreading fast in the last 15 years and earning it the name Wonder Cane of the Decade. In Tamil Nadu, CO86032 occupies over 80% of the area under sugarcane cultivation. Another variety, the CO99004, is a mid-late maturing variety recommended for cultivation in the peninsula zone comprising Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Interior Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Also known as Damodar, this variety was evolved through the inter-varietal hybridization of CO62175 and CO86250. It yields 16.08 tons per hectare of commercial cane sugar, 116.9 tons per hectare of cane and has 19.21% sucrose in juice. This variety demonstrates excellent growth patterns through early vigorous growth, erectness, dark green foliage, absence of spines or splits and having a mean fiber content of 14%. The additional merits of this strain include resistance to red rot and wilt, tolerance to drought and internode borer. It is a shy flowering variety. Jaggery, obtained from CO99004, is golden yellow in color and of A1 quality. The CO2001 
13 variety, otherwise known as Sulab, yields superior quality jaggery and is similarly recommended for cultivation in the peninsula zone. This is a mid-late maturing clone that compares well with the ruling variety CO86032 for cane and sugar reed. This variety provides CCS at 14.73 tons per hectare, cane at 108.6 tons per hectare and 19.03% sucrose. It has a fiber content of 13.43%. The canes are semi-erect, wax-coated, dark purple and medium thick with cylindrical zigzag internodes. The variety is high tillering with good retuning potential. Suited to drought and saline conditions, it is also resistant to red rot and smut diseases and internode borer, remaining pest free under natural conditions. CO 2001-15 is a mid-late variety also recommended for cultivation in the peninsula zone. Notified for release in 2009, CO 2001-15 is similar to CO 2001-13 for resistance to smut disease and internode borer, tolerance to drought and salinity, and yielding jaggery of A1 quality. The canes are tall and medium thick with a light canopy, yielding 108.18 tons per hectare of cane. 14.57 tons per hectare of CCS and 18.9% sucrose in juice. This variety has 14.7% fiber and shows promise, especially in North Karnataka. CO99006 is a high sucrose clone recording a cane yield of 110.83 tons per hectare. In the AI CRP evaluation trials, the average cane yield was 116.4 tons per hectare and it is clearly superior with regard to its CCS yield of 16.9 tons per hectare in comparison with CO86032. Coordinated agronomic experiment trials in Tamil Nadu have revealed a substantial improvement in cane yield of 156 tons per hectare and 139 tons per hectare and sugar yield of 20.4 tons per hectare and 17.7 tons per hectare in plant and retune crops, respectively. CO99006 exhibits resistance to water logging, drought and red rot, besides being a good retuner and yielding quality jaggery. CO0403 is an early maturing variety evolved by clonal selection from the progenies obtained by crossing CO8371 and CO86011. It shows moderate flowering during the first fortnight of November. Based on its performance under AICRP trials, it has been notified by the Central Subcommittee on Crop Standards, notification and release of varieties for agricultural crops for commercial cultivation in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat and Maharashtra. In the multi-location trials under AICRP, it recorded a higher mean sugar yield of 14.31 tons per hectare as compared to 13.89 and 13.16 tons per hectare yielded by COC671 and CO85004 respectively, making it the top ranking entry among 11 entries and the three standards evaluated. This clone displays impressive field stand as observed from its high cane population, erect canes, early vigorous growth and dark green foliage. Morphological features of the cane include its purple color, heavy wax coating, medium thickness, spineless leaf sheath, cylindrical internodes and green growth rings. The fiber content of CO 0403 is 13.67% and its jaggery is of A1 quality. CO 06030 is a cross between COC 671 and IG 91 1100. Was notified by the Central Subcommittee on Crop Standards 
notification and release of varieties for agricultural crops, New Delhi, for cultivation in the East Coast Zone, comprising the coastal regions of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. This is a mid-late variety with excellent field habits, self-detrashing, non-lodging erect canes and is devoid of splits and spines. CO06030 has recorded an improved yield of sugar of 11.21 tons per hectare over other strains like CO86249 with 9.41 tons per hectare, CO7219 10.39 tons per hectare and COV92102 10.53 tons per hectare. It has 13.59% fiber and boasts A1 quality jaggery. Since it has a diverse genetic base and combines high yield and quality, it is expected to boost sugarcane productivity in the area. In the northwestern zone, the non-lodging and non-flowering early clone CO0238, popularly known as Karan 4, has been recommended for cultivation in Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan and Western and Central UP. It is a good substitute for COJ64 on account of its superior cane yield, observed as a 19.96% improvement and a marginal 0.5% improvement in sucrose content. At 300 days, CO0238 presented a mean yield of 81.08 tons per hectare and sucrose at 17.99%. This variety provides a good yield when harvested in winter and performs better than the standard under conditions of water logging and water stress. It is moderately resistant to red rot disease and resistant to wilt and smut diseases. Adaptability trials have proved this variety better than the existing varieties in Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. It is spreading at a faster rate in subtropical India. CEO 05011, also termed Karan 9, is a mid-late maturing variety recommended for cultivation in the northwestern zone comprising Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand and western and central UP. It yields 10.24 tons per hectare of commercial cane sugar, 82.47 tons per hectare of cane and 18% sucrose at 12 months and has a fiber percentage of 12.75%. This variety is resistant to prevailing strains of the pathogen causing red rot and is tolerant to low temperatures, water stress and water logging. This non-lodging and non-flowering clone performs better when harvested during winter. The jaggery obtained from CO05011 is light yellow in color and of A2 quality. CO0237 is another non-flowering cone recommended for cultivation in the northwestern zone. Known also as Karan 8, this early variety presents an improvement of 8.73% for CCS, 5.53% for cane yield and 4.92% sucrose over the quality check variety COJ64. It has a fiber percentage of 12.89% and has recorded a CCS yield of 9.34 tons per hectare, cane yield of 71.33 tons per hectare and sucrose of 18.78% at 10 months. The jaggery obtained is light yellow in color of A1 quality. It is tolerant to low temperatures, water stress and water logging. It is moderately resistant to red rot. CO0118, also called Karan 2, is an early maturing non-lodging and non-flowering variety recommended in northwestern zone comprising Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan 
and western and central Uttar Pradesh. It has been identified as a substitute for COJ64 because of its superior cane yield and enhanced sucrose content. CO0118 recorded an improvement of 15.7% in cane yield and 3.07% improvement in sucrose over COJ64. This variety reflects a mean cane yield of 78.2 tons per hectare, CCS yield of 9.88 tons per hectare and sucrose content of 18.45% at 300 days, performing well under conditions of water stress and water logging. Evaluations at over 50 sugar mills in Punjab, Haryana, UP and Uttarakhand confirmed the improved performance of this variety. It has a fiber percentage of 12.78% and is resistant to red rot and wilt. Jaggery obtained is light yellow in color of A1 quality. As we can see, there are numerous sugarcane varieties that are capable of providing a high cane yield with a fairly good sugar recovery. New hybrids are continuously being evolved by the Sugarcane Breeding Institute in Coimbatore and other sugarcane research centers in an effort to develop better yielding and more disease-resistant varieties.